I got my first uh, first minis. I tried to do an unboxing, but I had some issues. My camera kind of sucks on my computer. So uh, my first Reaper Bones 4. And uh, let's see here. It's the box. It, this thing was like brimming. I only got the corset. Kind of a little bit of regret now. It's pretty cool art. I'm guessing there's art on the bottom. I haven't opened it. Um, but yeah, a lot of good, a lot of good stuff. I went from zero minis to um, to this. So I'm just gonna go over a couple of things real quick here. Uh, first off, the quality of these, the detail is phenomenal. Um, so there's some goblins. All right, we got four of each. We got a little sword and board guy. We got some archers, a scimitar on a board, some spear guys with shields, two handers, and some pole arms. All right, then behind them we got the uh, kobolds. Lots of good little, little kobolds. The quality of these things is crazy. This is a pretty cool one. Yeah, this camera is way better than my computer, so. We got some heroes over here. Uh, a couple of Polax guards. Again, pretty crazy quality for how little they are. We got uh, guys that are in little pieces here. These guys, I believe, are maybe orcs. You can see his face, if I can get it to focus. Uh, crocodile. And a boar. A crab. I was really surprised. I didn't realize that these came in, a bunch of them came in uh, pieces. So I'll have to get another video once I get them assembled. Uh, these are like pirate ghosts. This one's got like some grog in the back. It's cool, just chugging it down, translucent. It's like a little ghost captain on part of his ship. Like these are phenomenal. I like this guy's little harpoon hook. Just really, really super cool. Uh, some adventurers. Got like a Middle Eastern guy with uh, bent swords. Crazy caster. Some rangers. Here's some more adventurers. Um, again, they're all in pieces. And like a dwarf, barbarian, some fighters, maybe a rogue, a warlock or spellcaster, another fighter, or paladin. Just like really phenomenal stuff. And, I mean, I only heard good reviews, but I'm totally blown away. Here's some, like, just kind of decorations for your dungeon. Some gargoyles and skulls, brazers, orbs. Here's a little bit of some townsfolk. We got a pitchfork and a rolling pin. Got a guy with a mace. This guy has some scrolls and a quill. She's a belly dancer, I guess. I'm, maybe she works at the brothel. I don't know. He's a farmer. We got Friar Tuck. Got another guy in here that's carrying some a barrel, but he's in two pieces. I don't want to take him out. Oh, and we got the fat pig. I think it'd be really cool to polymorph one of your party members into a fat pig. That's pretty cool. Uh, and then this cart, actually, I believe, I don't know if I could do it with one hand, but it fits the fat pig, which is sweet. Uh, we have some apes. This one's got armor on the right, the one on the left's naked. This one back in here, he's got a sword, um, but he's in pieces. Uh, we got some snake people. Uh, basically snakes, they have snake faces, they just have arms and legs. This one has boobies. Uh, pretty cool like sorcerer right there. I love, love, love that uh, glaive. Is it glaive? I don't know what the right word is. Um... Then we have some ghouls. It's a pretty cool pose. He just needs his head on him. It's up here on this. Uh, it's right there. Uh, we got these are kind of monsters. We got like a Frankenstein. She's backwards. We got like almost a Morticia style Dracula there in the middle. The mummy on the right. We have like a Cleopatra kind of looking with a pretty cool serpent staff. I don't know if we can get a better angle on that. Uh, that's another 
ghoul. So I got three ghouls. You got some pretty cool statues. This thing is beautiful. It's like an angel of death statue. So look at the the cracks from the stone. Maybe a creature, maybe just a statue. We got another gargoyle statue. We got a really cool crypt, or I mean sarcophagus. We have an altar with some books. Some pretty cool little details. The little details are beautiful in this. Uh, we have these little, the big head ones. They're a little goofy looking, but they're kind of cool. That's like a good example of one. Big head, little body. Got that one. She's in a couple pieces. Uh, this one, the, there's the head. Obviously, it has to connect to the body still. We got a little mage. Pretty cool. What else we got? I love this guy. I think he's amazing looking. I should have got a couple more of the big guys, the bonus ones that are big like him. That have like that cool, like clean armor. He's got a big old shield. Just the details. They're so good. The details are really good. So I'm trying to do this through my camera. It's kind of tough. Uh, these are a bunch of little demon guys. Little goat heads you can see and torsos. Uh, just a uh, different variety of them. So it's kind of a little bigger body. It's pretty cool. The details again, like those chains. Another little goat guy. We got the heroes. And then I got some more that I didn't open yet just because... I don't want little pieces everywhere quite yet, so I'm ready to glue. There's some wings on that. I think they go to this. It's like gargoyle, or this uh, griffin, I mean. There's a griffin in there. There's there's a couple griffins in there. Uh, I see some bat wings, so I'm excited to get that one open. I just didn't want to open it quite yet without a bag to put these things in. Here's the dragon. That's sweet. Giant wings. Really cool torso, claws. That's gonna be really cool. I mean, I'm not an artist, but hopefully I can not screw them up. Some demons. Demon wings. Uh, this is a, an ogre throwing a rock. Got his head up there. This, I think, is a were rat. There's his face. Yeah, pretty cool. Oh, uh, this is a minotaur. It's hard to tell. It's kind of like, I couldn't really space them out that much. There's his back though. Just like the details, the muscles in the back. Uh, here's another demon. And this is another demon, I believe. Or like some kind of, I don't know. What is that? Yeah, he's like a demon. That's a gross face. I love it. Maybe it's a troll. That's a troll. Sorry. He's got a little fat belly. Cat's going nuts in there. We got the uh, axe and a shield. This is another, uh, this is a minotaur. His head's up there. It's hard to see. Let's see if I can get it. There it is. There's his head. Uh, what else we got here? This guy's in two pieces, so I didn't want to take her out yet, but she's like a barmaid and she's got the drink. The other hand in the back there, which needs attached, has food. She's got some wings. Um, this is another one that uh, I think it, it's like a grave. Stands on a grave, kind of. I think it goes with the other grave ones. It's a woman. There's like a little tombstone. So that's pretty sweet. And the last one. This guy's cool. He's like a hero or something. I don't know. He was in the adventurer thing, but. He looks like a little bit of a demon to me. Maybe pass him off as a dragonborn. He is like modular though. He's got hands with a dagger, a bag, a mug, a shield, and a cutlass that you can kind of attach to whatever. So uh, the last thing is all the bases. They just came in a Ziploc bag. So I'm pretty excited about that. My uh, I'm run running out of battery, so or not battery memory so I'm about the 10 minute mark but just like uh, really really pleased and I will definitely be buying another Reaver Bones.